good uh, good morning everyone uh, thank you for taking time to uh, attend the session and i'm pleasure to be with you uh, i'm gao uh, a candidate of master master degree of uh, graduate school information information science technology of Uspa university and the title is on the use of naming scheme for controlling friendly router in information centric networking. This uh, presentation can be uh, in divided into six parts. In the background, I, uh, going, I'm going to introduce a device called um, mobility controlled routers. The router uh, can construct, con construct a large scale network uh, in low cost in agriculture field and the other field. And we also found that it is better to uh, implement the communication in ICN rather than IP. So in this work, I am going to uh, show a system design uh, of the communication using MRs uh, in the real world with one MRs. And we will show the demonstration and make a conclusion. And for the background, in the outdoor fields such as uh, agriculture field and disaster fields, uh, construct a large scale network by the, by using the, the cable or the various antenna. It's, and the cost is very high, and but by using the MRS for for the packing, so for uh, providing the packets, it become more uh, uh, low price to construct. Large, net, large scale network. In there, the mobility control router is a router loaded on a moving body and they become able to become uh, movable. And at the same time, it, the same time it forwards the packets. It also has, the router also has some problems, such as uh, small communication range, long moving distance, and limited energy. If we uh, implement the communication in IP, there will have two limitations. Firstly, uh, developers have to decide both the IP address and the attributes of contents for content retrieval. However, recently, by using by using name-based routing, the, only the attribute of content is needed. So uh, it is com convenient in ICN and there has overhead uh, in IP. Another limitation is the IP will have a poor performance in this joint network. It's because the packet the packets will lost be lost uh, if it is in disconnection. And the con content caching technique can help to solve the limitation. So, in order to remove the limitations, we are going to use the ICN. ICN is a network, new network with several prominent architecture, such as name-based routing, uh, content caching, seamless, seamless uh, in-network processing. Merits uh, in uh, build the system in ICN uh, is considered to be uh, three. The first by using the name-based routing, the developer can code easily. Second, by using the content caching, uh, the moving distance of MRs and the response time can be shortened. Thirdly, uh, by using the signal in that processing, the low overhead process can be realized since it is able to optimize the code uh, right in the same layer. Both below uh, merits we include the system using uh, using ICN rather than IP, and there is a, a ICN protocol using multiple MRs. Uh, application is thought to be uh, sensing in agriculture and uh, the distribution of the orders in disaster fields, and this work uh, considers a general situation of network rather than a detailed application network. And uh, we're going to implement a system of 
uh, RM ICN, and the reason is that uh, other ICM system is uh, really fun, and we think the RM ICN is ideal because we think the need of society, society is firstly realizing such communications, and secondly, to apply the system to as much as more as more as more possible kind of kind of different situations. And the RMSN assumes the general situation of network so it can apply in many kinds of situations. For the reason we are going to implement the RMSN. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, introduce the program in this research. We are going to solve the pro uh, going to uh, implement the RMSN in real world. The previous work show a uh, design in local simulation environments and in this work we will show a uh, real world design. And secondly, uh, the proposal of uh, optimized moving uh, strategy we will leave it as a future work. And uh, the detailed problem is uh, two. The first first one is uh, we have to we need to uh, realize communication between the RM system and the UEV. The second one is uh, we have to uh, we need to uh, modify the design from local environment to real world. Uh, for the first program, first program with uh, the RM ICNs APIs has been proposed, but the APIs cannot directly uh, com communicate with UAVs. Uh, I can have a clarification quick. What is RM ICN? is a protocol using multiple emirates. I mean, is it something you're proposing or is it existing stuff? It's existing. Okay. I will uh, answer the question after the presentation. First problem, we need to uh, find the uh, APIs that can directly communicate with UAV and uh, such uh, protocol we need to find. Secondly, uh, in the previous work, uh, the system uh, the system all built, built in uh, the same node, so the, the different programs communicate with, with each other using OS interface. But in the real world, we need to uh, put the program into different nodes and they communicate with the ICN interface. So, uh, the approach of our uh, research uh, is shown that the first program, uh, we will use the APIs called MagLink, which is a program which is a protocol able to communicate with UAV. The second one, uh, we will uh, use the APIs of the uh, base class for the communications. And from now, I'm going to uh, explain the system design. Uh, for nodes, we use three kinds of nodes. Uh, DR, the uh, default router, is a decision maker. And in this work, uh, it's mainly do the path planning. And the frame router is a packet forwarder, and the gateway is a uh, content content consumer and publisher, such as, uh, for example, in agriculture fields, it's, uh, it's uh, the bit we consider to be sensors and uh, actuators, and uh, in the disaster fields, it's considered to be the residents and the local governments. And the moving strategy of the frame user is simple. We will let the frame user visit all all the uh, uh, the gateways and in the, in the order of short, shorter distance to the computer and we always use the same path. As for the main operation in the system, uh, firstly the default uh, router here send the path to the prime routers and the prime router begin to move. Secondly, the, when the prime router arrive at gateways uh, they began to pre create the big entries. Uh, 
uh, in the friend group, there is a group, and a friend group there creates the paper trade for content that gateway uh, providing. And uh, in gateway, gateway will create, create the paper trade for uh, friend group there uh, providing the content. And third, uh, thirdly, after the creation of the paper entry, they began to exchange the content request interest and the request, uh, requested data. In this way, the content uh, retrieval can be realized. And from now, I'm going to uh, introduce more detailed system design. Uh, we use three kinds of program. Uh, first one, the DR, DR, FR, gateway. Uh, have a function realizing the flow of each node. Uh, we actually we improve, we make the program as a external application rather than the extension of NFT. And the second one, uh, draw control program can, can control the UAV using mapping map protocol. Thirdly, NFT is a packet provider. And in the program of DRFR gateway, uh, we add some table and strategy in it. Uh, in the node table, it has the location of gateways and the base ID. Uh, it is for path planning and mobility control. And the path, and path table, it has the uh, uh, waypoints of the path. Uh, it's also for mobility control. And the buffer store is have the uh, interest, name of interest, and the data is for uh, store and forwarding the packets. And for the uh, threat date, FR control uh, can control the mobility of FRs, and the neighbor uh, can manage the, uh, and can create the big entries and the transmit packets, and the message uh, can do the uh, storing of packets. And here is the important namespace of each strategy. We're going to introduce three, three ones. Uh, in the first one, is a FR control. It contains the waypoint uh, of the path. The rule is to give the give FR a path for mobility controls, and the corresponding data is act. And second one, neighbor, neighbor interest is the goal is to create the fake entries in a gateway or the frame router or in the frame router. The corresponding data is the name of contents which uh, which are produced by a gateway or name of contents that are able to be delivered by the frame routers. And the third one, I think, is a, a API of the Massive track strategy. The rule is to store the interest and the data in buffer, and the corresponding data is the requested uh, contents. We have, uh, going to have a short introduce of sequence. Uh, first, uh, the DR can calculate the path. Then, uh, for the mobility control of UAV, uh, the router send the interest of FR control and the frame user receive it uh, called the after receive interest method to call the uh, TCP. The TCP will run and control the mobility of UAV. Then, when frame user arrive at gateways, uh, they, they begin to create the big entries and then uh, to exchange the interest and the data. For the uh, creation of big entries, uh, firstly, uh, frame router send the entries of neighbor, and the gateway receive it, returns the name names of content that gateway from publish. Then frame router uh, will create uh, big entries in NFT uh, by using the command uh, NFT secret base and add group, and then uh, gateway do the similar operation at pillows. Okay, from now I'm going to uh, talk about the experiments. In the, 
experiment, we use two gateways that uh, the, the gateway in the app uh, it's gateway to uh, request uh, contents and the gateway one has contents. Uh, actually, we realize a uh, pseudo pseudo uh, destroying the network rather than a real destroying network. That means uh, when the frame router is within a certain distance to a gateway, they are considered being connected. Here's the hardware and software. We use the uh, 3DR solo as a UAV and the bad Wi-Fi as the ICN router. The construction of frame routers, we, uh, the UAV supplies the energy to the computer and the computer communicate with UAV with Wi-Fi. We have shown you the video of the experiment. This is of the video is a fine router and the left side is a stable router. Firstly, we run the program. of uh, if our console have been seen that means the path has been told to find router router and begin to The drive at the gateway one. The gateway one is a is a Raspberry Pi on a white white plastic box. Prime uh, send the neighbor interest and uh, to to create the fifth entries in the frame router. Also, left red pie, and also send the uh, neighbor interest to create uh, the fifth and uh, the gateway two. Uh, the arrow arrow direction is, is wrong. It's uh, gateway gateway two from gateway two to parenthesis zero. That to send the uh, uh, content request interest. The name is RMICN FR0 and uh, it will once a week. Send the request. Then come back to the folder. Go to the next place. It will one and the uh, parameter send the request to. It will want and retrieve the contents. And then, then go to the gateway to, to send the content to the consumer. And by doing this, uh, the content retrieval is completed. And we have shown uh, the parallelizing uh, communication using one frame router is success. Well, uh, we have realized the RMIC communication using one frame router in the real world. And as for the future works, we're going to uh, propose a uh, strategy and we're going to uh, implement using uh, multiple frame routers. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and I have time for questions. Questions after you. <laughs> um, when the, how, how the prime router decide which gateway you know, to send this uh, neighbor? The prime router in the first, in the initial status, 
they, they were of course the uh, greater payment in all in all many ways they, they made it. But then, are you assuming that the only rocket way can receive the the major Uh, is that true that the uh, wireless multiple gateway can receive the uh, signal, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will all receive the, the neighbor interest. Say if there are multiple gateways, yeah. the triangle can send the neighbor request, yeah. right? Then is it possible that the multiple gateway must receive that neighbor request? Mm -hmm. I can't understand what, what situation is that. Can you please tell me? Well, say it's a wireless <laughs> signal, it's a broadcast. Yeah. So the signal can be received by multiple gateways, right? Oh, yeah. But in this in this environment, there is a lot to do uh, this kind of network. But in the real this network, network the the multi cast can't can't send to the gateway. Uh, so so multiple gateway. Well, if assuming that uh, this joint network. Yes, but say this joint between gate two gateways, but it can be you know, the prime router may receive both signal. Um, then you need to choose which gateway to decide the path. So it also depends on the detailed applications because the in this situation the gateway is near. It's closed, so right, but but uh, because path is controlled, yeah. don't you need to decide which one, or is there any? Don't you need to have some mechanism to choose one of those between? So I assume that we consider the general situation, and this only one one gateway is connected to the computer. Okay. Okay. If two gateways receive, what happens? Two gateways will be considered as one big gateway. So it still works. Alright. And uh, uh, another question is how the flying route control is done? And what path is used to control the flying route? Because unless you have certain communication paths available, the flying router you cannot. So, ah, do you assume that uh, when the flying router is connected to one of the gateway, the request is sent to the flying router, and then flying router automatically moves to another gateway? Yes. So, but what happens if the connection? <laughs> Disrupted, I mean, to the prime router. So we give you means uh, do we have packet flaws? Uh, packet flaws, so uh, I don't know. Um, because in the real situation, say by wind or something, the location of the prime router may not be accurately placed, and then the connection to the gateway may be disrupted. Yes, that uh, depends on the Wi-Fi range and the the height of the flight. So we, it depends on the real de detailed application. Okay, okay, so that's out of the scope. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, so if you understood correctly, the testing has been done with the one and UAV. In the case you have a swarm of UAVs, so multiple UAVs. Is there, uh, or at least you are foreseeing any intercommunication between the two UAVs so that you have a, a kind of community of uh, uh, networking also with 
the sky or are you going to be managed in the situation? Yeah, if we are not to uh, advance in the area, like then, then you know, do you have to be any communication or coordination? <laughs> so it means uh, it's a real, real application. You say, yeah, in this, in this uh, experiment, you only assume one, one uh, line route, right? But say, there are many several. I guess main communication among them to manage their and, uh, how, how much time the frequent, frequent how great frequent the uh, communication will happen? Mm -hmm. uh, what they mean is that uh, there are some applications where you have to monitor, for instance, a large area, yes. and therefore uh, only one drone or UAV is not sufficient. Yeah. So you use multiple. Then if a gateway, as in your case, has to uh, provide uh, data to another gateway, you may want to use uh, and uh, have a link between uh, the two drones. So, and I was wondering how the setup, uh, the architecture you presented, can be adapted to this use case, or if on the contrary, this architecture is already uh, able to address this. different strategies of brain leaders. Um, <coughs> that's about the optimization of strategies in this group we have in contact with them. Okay, any other questions? Okay, then thank you very much. Thank you.